Okay, we're running a little calibration test here on our Z-axis. We're making a 10,000 Z up movement, 10,000 Z down, and then a 50,000 Z up and a 50,000 Z down. And you can see we're pretty much repeating. You can hear the motor in the back. There's a 10. There's a 50 movement. Trying to get away from the glare here. There we go. So we're staying within a half a thou. We are within two to three ten thousandths. That's point zero 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 two to three. About ten times a human hair. So if we look at our G code. Simple little sub program. Uh, G0 rapid, G91 incremental, M98 is a sub program call, P2 program number 2, L10 loop that 10 times, M30 is done. So if we go to program 2, or O word is usually a program number, so O2, our movement, our, uh, movement is a rapid Z of incrementally because of the G91 incrementally up 50,000, down 50,000. G4 or dwell, P2 for dwell or pause for two seconds. And then we make a 0.1 Z move, then a negative 0.1 Z move, and we dwell or pause again for two seconds. M99 returns it to the subprogram, but we say L10, so we're going to repeat that 10 times. So if we pull back, we go ahead and we're going to close that down. We're going to click. We got all X, Y, Z zeroed. And we're going to click cycle start. We can look around and buy with the, the G4 P2. We're sitting there, pause. You can see our green arrow indicates movement of our Z axis. Switch over here to our dial indicator. Now it's in the ten thousandths of an inch range. It's picky. Even me rolling across the floor makes the needle wiggle. So we see we're about a half thou high right now, but we can see that we're repeating to within that. We're landing on that half thou all day long. So right there, we're probably repeating one to two ten thousandths of an inch in our Z. So that's pretty accurate. Alrighty, just a quick how I calibrate things.